Hey, how's it going? This is video two, uh, free energy generator, uh, non-solar, non-gas. So I did, based on my previous video, I took that little standoff of that 10K generator to the left and then I tightened up the bell. You can see how it kind of rubbed. Need a tensioner, but you know, it is what it is. Just for testing purposes, it works. It's tight, nice and tight. Everything's bolted down. So I did a little test and I saw on the internet. So I got it plugged into the wall over there and you can see the extension cord. So it is hot right now. There is power uh, going to that. And one of these switches, like this one. So I wired these kind of like a relay so that I flipped at the same time. You can see that it's glowing green. That means that motor has power. So it does work. Um, but the thing is when I plug this in, so the idea was, you know, plug this cord into the generator and then the way it's wired, it should in theory keep the motor running. Well, that's not the case. As soon as I do that, it trips the, uh, circuit breaker on my house or not the circuit breaker, the, uh, GFI outlet and it may be because maybe somebody knows maybe because i got the commons to wire together i didn't know how else to do it and i took the ground off because otherwise it trips it right away so which is interesting um it, i don't know why the generator pulse it um because the way the switches are done it's almost simultaneous where it it flips the switches and it di basically disconnects the power from the outlet and he tries to use the um, power from the generator. So let me find something here. I'll actually, here, let's get, get my handy dandy shot back. Here. So I'll show you that this thing's actually making power. Um, the way it is but i don't know and i don't want to buy another electric motor to find out necessarily uh, i guess i could buy one on facebook marketplace but so i'll plug that into there you can see plugged into the shop back so this this is going to run on outlet power right now and it's going to power up this little electric motor so i'll turn it on Flip these switches at the same time to see if that generator power will power that electric motor, <coughs> which right now it trips the uh, GFI outlet. I don't know why. But it does. So, as soon as I do this, it shuts off. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. There's somebody on the internet, internet that's done this. A lot of people have. Maybe it's the generator. It's a 10KW for crying out loud. Powering a little one and a half horse motor. Uh, I mean, it only pulls like 16 amps, full load amps, 16.4, I think, on the main plate. But I don't know. Uh, this is just a kind of a test. This isn't going to be the original setup. What I do have, um, which I'm going to video three, sneak peek, I guess. So I'm gonna try out this uh, Jupiter 4,000 watt or 2,000 watt continuous 4,000 watt peak generator from Harbor Freight. Um, and you know, it was 100 and something dollar, 100, yeah, I don't know, 30, 50 maybe with a uh, Father's Day discount. So I got like 20% off, but 
supposedly this. So I got to buy a new battery today. I'm actually going to connect to my car, uh, this inverter to my car, 12 volt, uh, just until I get my two watt cables for this three foot. I got those from Harbor Freight as well. Um, and then wire that together, use jumper cables for now to the car, power this up to this inverter and plug in that electric motor. What I think that's gonna end up happening, that generator is not gonna be able to power that electric motor for some reason. I don't know if just because, or maybe we need a starting motor, but either way, I'm gonna have to, what, I'm gonna have to have that inverter start the electric motor, you know, in theory, this thing's off grid and we don't have an outlet, like a house to plug into with, you know, electric from electric company. I might have to um, run off the inverter, get it going, and then have that, that generator recharging at the same time, recharging that battery to keep this system going. Um, I'm probably gonna get a 122 amp hour from Walmart, like an Everstart battery, like a Marine Deep Cycle. Um, in the meantime, they are expensive. I mean, it requires, uh, I don't know, probably like a thousand amp hours for four hours of running power without being charged. So test is gonna be running this saying, how long can I run it without charging the battery from the generator once I have a full charge battery? And then um, finding out how long I can run it on a 122 amp hour battery with a battery charger running off the generator, powering up that battery, basically kind of like an alternator would do on a car. And that's the other thing. I might wire in an alternator <laughs> uh, into the into the belt loop to keep this keep this charged, um, which is actually a really good idea. Keep this thing going, um, you know, as it's running, kind of like it's similar to a car, but obviously not with an engine. So that's this video number two. Uh, video number three to come. Uh, that's I'll have the uh, inverter wired up and everything. So stay tuned. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.